Ghost Rider test. It's a torque race, right? Oh, and we got the gas going. Okay, let's look at the cut quality from different angles. Don't complain about my yard. What do you think, Eric? I'm not seeing a lot of grass standing up. You know what I mean? Like it did a good job cutting. It's not pushed down, right? Yeah. Let's see with this one. Same thing with the gas. What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, Toro versus Toro. Very unexpected results, right? Everybody's talking electric, electric, electric. We did a review of uh, tons of electric. Yes. We haven't done a gas powered review in a long, long time, time, but we just did one last week of a Toro. We decided to put them both together and let's see, what are the differences? Everybody's bitching and complaining that gas is this and electric is this. Everybody's like their own, it's like Ford and Chevy. Everybody's got their own team. So we actually went some tests and we found out some interesting things, Eric. What, well, first of all, what mowers did we put? What do you mean, what mowers did we What put? Toro mowers did we use? Two personal pace, yeah, it's a personal 22 pace. inch recyclers. Yes. The exact same model, one is brushless uh, electric powered and one is powered by Briggs & Stratton uh, 7.35 torque engine or something. It's yeah, so basically power. everything on the mower is identical except the one is battery powered, one is gas. The only other differences that it has is the electric has the bigger back wheels um, and also has the quick handle release so you can tip it up and store it. Right, so you have advantages there. But we found out when we did take them and go ahead and use them, we found out that cut quality was pretty much the same. Same. It looked both great. It actually cut the grass. It wasn't pushing it off, doing anything like that. They both did a great job bagging them. So yep. I think, so that's pretty even. <clears throat> now, the interesting part was the mulching. Though. When we got to mulching, we saw a huge difference. We basically which just, surprised us because we didn't think yeah, so. Yeah, we, we didn't, didn't think, think so. it would happen because it's the same blade, same everything underneath. It's just a different power system. So basically, we took a bunch of leaves and just kind of threw them out in the middle ran them both through i'm showing you right now and it was just amazing how much better the gas power did yeah Wow, it looks like yours did a better job. It does. It really does. Wow. Are you sure? They're both set the They're same? They're both set two. They're both set at two. Look at it. Yeah, the wheels are both set at two. They're both in mulch mode. Both in mulch mode. Wow. So this, the gas is definitely better at the recycling. Which, you know what, I would understand a little bit of a difference, but it, honestly, it was night and day. It was, yeah, it was, it was a big night difference. and day. And it, you wouldn't think that. And I always kind of thought, like, we've always talked about it over the years, you're like, 
why even use gas mowers anymore? You know, we said, okay, you want longer run times, we get all that stuff, but in terms of a smaller yard, why would you want that? Right. And that's interesting that what we found out. Yeah, it definitely did a lot better mulching. It's crazy. I feel like it did better for the environment as far as mulching, but yeah, it's gas. The gas, it's yeah. Polluting. So yeah. it's like the best, you know, that lesser of evil, whatever it is, you know? I gotta be honest. Yeah, so I was always gas. I moved over to battery, love battery now and all that. And even when we were out there mowing, I was using the gas one, you were using the battery pro. I was thinking, I was like, wow, it is nice not having that loud noise. There's something to the noise that's kind of cool, manly, whatever you want to call it, but then also it's nice to have that quiet mower. The first mower of the year, yeah, gas is cool, gas yeah. is fun, but I think after that, you're right. And the maintenance and, and, and the that's down stuff true. like that. As far as even side discharge, we saw a difference also. Mm -hmm. The uh, electric didn't throw as far, didn't cut as much. So the electric's definitely going at a slower speed. We, we pretty much... Can yeah, and the one thing like with the gas-powered one, that's a consistent speed, so that mower just going with the electric because they try to save the battery it basically brings everything down the rpm and when it needs more power it will speed it up use more power to get the cut quality and stuff like that and don't get us wrong we're not saying the battery power did bad i mean it was good but right. when you compare the two side by side you definitely see a difference for right those. so they and then a lot have the positives and negatives right i mean with the battery powered you know that battery you can take out you can use in a snow blower or blower or whatever you can fold it up sideways put it in the corner of your garage without it leaking any kind of liquid right mm -hmm. any kind of gas or oil with the uh i mean that actually sucks when you think about it now you have to have that mower a gas powered mower just on all fours at all times yeah now i don't know if that briggs one does but i know certain briggs you can actually tip up briggs gas engines or some of them you can tip up and be fine with oh really yes but i don't know if that one is yeah it didn't say on it it, so it didn't tout it i think it and the, the handle and the handle yes yeah. you're right so so i mean that's it so to get that better uh better mulching to get that better side discharge are you really going to want to do all the negatives of fuel now of other glasses full or whatever you guys are saying well do you really want the negatives of battery right mm -hmm. you really want to run out like we were talking earlier in a different video if you're half acre or more maybe consider gas right yeah anything under half acre you just got to go with electric it's just it's it's minimi minimal it's just good it's easy it gets the job done the cut quality is virtually the same right mm -hmm. a little less on the mulching probably but uh Gas is just, you know, if you got that bigger area that you got to push or you got to walk, definitely look into the gas. Yeah, or if you're really into like, hey, like for me, I always bag my stuff. But if you're not into it, you're like, hey, I want everything mulched, gas might be the way to go. If that's really important to you, definitely gas. Yeah. Definitely. I feel like gas was just getting that constant power all the time and yeah. more suction because you're getting more speed, more air is moving, more suction, mm -hmm. you know. But, but in terms of actually the personal pace, they were identical. I mean, I that's... It's such a great system. I'll talk that thing all day long. It's the best one out there. Then you go and you try some of these other ones that we've tried, the self-propelled ones. It's just night and day. Yeah, I, I mean, some of them are good. Some oh, of them good. are decent. But, but there's nothing like being able to just walk at your speed, your personal pace speed. It's yeah. awesome. So a new thing we have to do in our videos now is he makes me, because he's Mr. Negative, I have to pick a negative of every mower. So we're going to do both. So let's Wait, talk. I'm Mr. Negative? Well, you, this is the new rule, <laughs> if I you guys guess. Only, if you guys only knew behind I say, scenes. I say things are too good. So, uh, All right, so we're going to talk about the electric first. Let's talk about the two negatives. Or not negatives. What's the main negative of the electric to you? I had a well, mulching. Okay. Yeah, so I think the mulch quality, yeah. That's it. See, because you we weren't known that until we did the test. No, exactly. So thinking about before that, what would be the negative? To With the battery? It? Well, okay, for me, would just be... The battery. The battery, because if I only got one battery and I forgot to charge it for my last time, then I want to go cut, I have to now wait for right. the charge. With gas that you can go get gas instantly, put it in, you know, like that. But then you still got to take a trip to the gas station, that's the thing. Yes. Still, you know. And bad gas. Bad gas. What's the negative to the gas? Noise. Okay. You know? So my negative to the gas would be just maintenance, mm -hmm. right? And my negative to the electric would be just uh, getting a new battery after five years. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the batteries last a long time. Now, I can't speak I feel for like you're Toro, gonna get, you're gonna get but a lot of the years. batteries, like we've used Ego, and I still have the batteries from 2014, so what's that, six years yeah. ago, and they're still working. So yeah. I would and imagine Ego's they're, you know. Pretty damn good, though. Oh, Ego's really good. But here's the thing. Yeah, but what if you drop that battery? What if it got a little wet? What if it's not the norm? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What if you left it out in a real cold climate, constantly fully charged, something like that? There's just all those little quirks that you have to worry about. Granted, you've never lost a battery. You know, I've lost no. a couple batteries, but it's been in that four or five year 
uh, time range, right? And batteries, you know, they're not cheap. They're 80 bucks, something like that. So I think, I think they're actually, those batteries are even more, like the bigger batteries. Oh, yeah. $80 are more for like your power tools. Those right. other batteries are more. But, so that, that negates the cost of fuel. Like when they say, oh, the cost of fuel. Well, you have the cost of the battery. So I think that that, you know. Um, it's tough. They've, everything's got its pros and cons to it, you know. But like, yeah, it's, it is, there is something nice though about first thing of spring where you can just, all you do is just push a button and go. Yeah. Like you said, like with your negative for maintenance, 100% agree with that, you know. It yeah. is nice. You're not worried about bad gas. You know, it like when you hear the nice. more, it kind of goes up and down because you know it's got bad gas in there. Yeah. So. And the only thing you have to do on electric is pull like two things. And if it starts up right away, you're good. If it doesn't, you got a dead battery or your safety things on Yes. Way. Yeah, so that is actually a negative to too because there is one that she lost the safety pin, and I had to go around my whole yard and I'm looking for this thing. I finally it found came out it. while you were mowing. No, no. So I had it in the front. I was doing other things, and when I was just pushing it to the back, oh. that's when it came out. So it's not like the mower cut off, and I realized it right away. Right, because so. most safety pins are inside the battery compartment. If they fall out, they'd stay in there. But I never yeah. seen them fall out. Yeah, no, you I must be getting pretty rowdy with that mower. Oh, I did, man. I was pushing. I was going off road with the thing, man. It was fun, dude. All right, you guys, comment below. What are your experiences with yeah. gas and uh, electric? We want to know. Hashtag TA Crew wherever you go. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Comment below. Peace. Even on the yeah. same church, there's less there than there is over here. And that, I felt like that was thicker grass. Once yeah, it was. Wow. So there's definitely a power difference there. You wouldn't really think so in a way because, you know, all the torque that yeah. the electric's produced. But. but the electric has to preserve that battery somehow. Yeah, it's true. But I always thought like when it was down, that was preserving it, then it ramp. You know how it ramps up? It's got that ramp up. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Remember, for more exciting tool action, Go to toolsinaction.com.